Okay, you can look up here. I'm going to go ahead and do the pivot arm, which is 5-51. Um, it'll be new, it'll be a part, and I'll hit OK. Once that happens, I'm going to go to Sketch. First thing I'm going to do is draw a line. I'm going to draw it on the uh, front plane, and I'll get that front plane squared up with the world. So that's front plane then with a line. I'm going to draw a line about a seven and one eighth long. Close enough. Alt. Okay. So I've got that line that's uh, that, that long. I'm going to simply draw a, a circle on each end of that line then here. And that needs to be at a radius or a diameter of about two and five eighths. So this is a radius that'll work out pretty good. That's close enough, and I'll give myself another one that's just a little bit bigger. And resize it right there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to come in here. Now this line here will be tangent to this one here. So when that happens you'll notice that this doesn't necessarily line up because it is tangent and this one here doesn't line up because it's tangent. Now another command that I can use right there, I'm going to hit OK. Another command I can use right here would be the mirror, the mirror, uh, the mirror command. So I'm going to mirror that and it shows me right here it shows me right here I want to mirror line 2 which that is line 2 but it also says then mirror about. I'm going to mirror about that line. Whoops. Undo. Um, so now I'm going to mirror that. I made a little bit of a mistake there. So I'm going to go to, uh, I'm still at the sketch. I'm still at sketch. I'm going to mirror entities. I'm going to mirror this entity, and that shows up in this line right here. It says you want to mirror about this line right here. And so therefore, I just I get this line that's just opposite of that. And I'm going to like it. No, not yet. I'm not going to like it yet. Next thing I'm going to do, then, is I'm going to trim out this excess right here. So I'm going to go to Trim, Trim Entities, and Trim to Closest right here. And what happens when I do that, you can see a light orange on the outside right here. Pick that out of there. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick that out of there. I'm going to like that. When I say I like it, I'm just going to hit OK. So I've got that shape, which is the middle, the, the web in the middle. Okay. Now, I found it just easier. I'm going to get rid of this line. So I'm going to pick it, and I'm going to hit Delete. So that's out of the way that type thing and so I'm really done with this web okay so now I'm just simply going to go to features and I'm extruded boss base when I do that if I extrude it all I'm still on the front plane right here but I need to ex uh, extrude it going two different directions so I go over here to the direction arrow and I want to extrude it from mid plane so I pick the mid plane that web happens to be three quarters of an inch so that's 0.75 I'm going to hit the OK button. Bingo, now I'm OK, but I have that mid plane, or I have the front plane, right directly in the middle. OK? Now I'm going to go ahead and do the circle on, the, on this side right over here. I'm going to square this up to the world. And I am going to also draw my sketch from the front plane. So I pick front plane. I go up here to the circle command and I'm going to get on this just so that I find that spot right there. So if I highlight that, I can pick this right here. And I'm just going to extend that up and it will click in something like that. Once it clicks in, I don't have to measure it. I don't have to size it. Um, it is the right size. Okay. Um, so I'm ready to then like it and I'll go to Features, Extrude Boss Base, and I'm going to put it into an isometric view. 
so I can see it. So it all comes out there, but I'm going to again go ahead and offset from the mid plane. That happens to be two inches wide. So I'll just type in uh, two here and hit OK. Bingo. All right. Now, if I want to, I could go ahead and continue that on out. And uh, I could go ahead. Well, let me do this other one over here on this side here first. Um, and so I'm going to go to, uh, I'll square this up again to the world. I'll go to sketch. I'm going to hit the front plane. I'm on the front plane. Or I could pick a plane here, but uh, this is just much easier if I pick front plane right now. From that then, I'm going to draw the circle. I don't know where center point is, so I'm just going to pick that. It, uh, it shows up with a little black cross pick, hold down, and it snaps in. I'm going to like it. Hit go back up here to isometric and I can then go to features, extrude boss base. Extrude boss base from the mid plane and that one happens to be one and a quarter. 1.25. I'm going to like it. Okay. So now, I'm going to do one more, and I can do it from this view right here. I'm going to go back to Sketch. I'm going to pick out the surface that I want to draw on, and this it's this surface right here. All right. I want to then draw a circle from midpoint. I picked out the midpoint. Bang. I'm going to Smart Dimension that. That happens to be a two inch diameter circle, two and like it. And once I get done with that, I simply go to features, extruded cut. I'm going to take that all the way through and I'm going to like that. Same thing right here. I'm ready for another sketch. Notice my trees going, gro growing on this side right here and I can edit any one of those. I pick that that plane right there, I've got a circle. I'm going to pick the edge of the circle so that the black cross shows up. Draw myself something like that. Smart dimension it. That hole on that end is two in, or one and three eighths. 1.375. Gonna like it. And I simply then go back to uh, go back to the features. Extrude cut through all and hit up the OK. And there's my part. Okay, now I know one thing I did not do. I don't think that I uh, made that long enough in betweens, but I can do that quickly by going here to edit sketch. I'll square this to the world and I can go with a dimension. I can go with a smart dimension from that point to this point and I remember that I had not done that and that happens to be 7.125 and I'll like it. That just automatically stretched that thing out if I like it there and I'm going to like it there. Now the other thing I didn't do, I don't know that I made these circles right, but I can do the same thing. I can go back and edit the sketch. Oh, I think that was right. I think that was right. Anyway, so I'll go over here. I'm going to extend this out here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to hit the OK button on this side. Boom. And there's my part. On the end. The only thing that's different about that whole thing is that I did it uh, when I extruded it, I extruded. I'm going to move this over again for you. Um, I extruded it from the mid plane. And so everything was working off of the front plane. Okay. All right.